Artificial intelligence is no longer just a futuristic concept. It's here and it's reshaping the world. As nations race to harness this powerful technology, one rivalry stands out, the United States versus China. The winner could dominate the 21st century, not just economically, but militarily and technologically. So who is leading this AI arms race and what does the future hold? AI is rapidly becoming the most disruptive force of the 21st century. From revolutionizing industries to redefining human intelligence, the potential is limitless. But with such power comes fierce competition. The United States and China are at the forefront of this race, each nation determined to claim the crown of AI supremacy. For the US, innovation is driven by private sector dynamism, venture capital and cutting-edge research, while China's state-led strategy focuses on strategic collaboration between the government and tech giants. The stakes nothing less than global dominance. The country that leads AI development will likely control vast economic resources, military capabilities and influence over future technologies. As both nations push to outpace each other, the world watches with bated breath to see who will emerge victorious in this high-stakes race. In the United States, the AI race is driven by the capitalistic engine of venture capital and private enterprise. The US has established itself as a leader in artificial intelligence, thanks to its unique model of innovation, where private companies push the boundaries of technological advancements. The US model thrives on competition, risk-taking and large-scale investment, with venture capital funding flowing into a plethora of AI startups. This environment fosters rapid innovation, enabling new technologies and breakthroughs that can transform industries. Some of the biggest players in AI, such as OpenAI, Microsoft, Google and NVIDIA, have reshaped the landscape of artificial intelligence. OpenAI, initially a non-profit, transitioned into a for-profit company backed by massive investments from Microsoft, further solidifying its position as a leader in AI research and development. Google's DeepMind, a pioneer in machine learning, has contributed to some of the most significant advancements in AI, including AlphaGo and breakthrough research in deep learning. Meanwhile, NVIDIA's dominance in providing the hardware needed for training AI models has been critical to the success of AI technologies, especially in the realm of large language models. Despite these successes, the US faces challenges in regulating AI's rapid development. The government has been slow to implement robust regulatory frameworks. With attempts like the Biden administration's executive orders and legislative proposals falling behind the pace of technological advancement, Congress struggles to keep up with the fast-moving AI field, often finding itself outpaced by the innovations coming from private labs. Additionally, export restrictions on semiconductor technology, particularly GPUs from NVIDIA, have raised tensions, particularly with China. These measures aim to slow down China's progress in AI by limiting its access to the latest hardware, creating a competitive edge for the US in the AI arms race. Thus, while the US maintains a lead in AI, the challenges of keeping up with innovation and regulating this transformative technology are an ongoing hurdle. China's approach to artificial intelligence is markedly different from the United States. Rather than relying on venture capital and private sector innovation, China has adopted a state-driven strategy to become the global leader in AI. The Chinese government has made AI a central element of its economic and national security strategy with the ambitious goal of becoming a global AI powerhouse by 2030. The state's interventionist role in guiding AI development is evident across various sectors, from research and development to commercial applications and industry-specific innovations. One of the key metrics of China's success in AI is its dominance in AI-related patents and publications. According to the Stanford Artificial Intelligence Index report, China generated 60% of the world's AI patents in 2022, far outpacing the US in this domain. Furthermore, Chinese researchers account for over 40% of global AI journal publications, which is four times higher than the US. This prolific output of research highlights China's growing intellectual capital in AI and its emphasis on expanding AI knowledge.
China also leads in the development and deployment of large language models. With over 200 different large language models, the country is fast catching up with the West in generative AI. Some of these models, such as Baidu's Ernie and Alibaba's Quen, are already making waves in commercial applications being adopted by global companies like Samsung and Lenovo. The widespread use of AI models in sectors such as healthcare, robotics and education is another testament to China's commitment to embedding AI across its industries. However, China's aggressive AI ambitions come with significant challenges. The government has imposed tight restrictions on AI models, especially those that generate content. Companies are required to test their systems rigorously, ensuring they conform to the state's ideological stance and sensitive topics are often off-limits. These regulations impact the innovation process, stifling the development of more advanced generative AI technologies. Furthermore, the Great Firewall hampers Chinese AI companies from accessing crucial global data, restricting their ability to train models on diverse and open datasets. Despite these restrictions, China's AI juggernaut continues to gain momentum. With state-driven investments, a rapidly growing talent pool and expanding industrial applications that position it as a key player in the global AI race. The AI arms race between the United States and China is defined by competition in several key areas that will shape the future of AI technology. Two of the most prominent battlegrounds are the development of large language models and generative AI, semiconductor dominance and the diverse industrial and societal applications of AI in both nations. One of the most critical areas of competition is the race to develop advanced large language models and generative AI. The United States currently holds an edge with leading companies like OpenAI, Google and Microsoft at the forefront. OpenAI's GPT models such as GPT-4 have achieved unprecedented success in creating human-like text and powering applications from chatbots to creative content generation. The US tech giant's aggressive investments in AI research and development, coupled with their access to vast computing resources, have given them a significant lead in this space. However, China is catching up rapidly with companies like Baidu, Alibaba and Huawei developing their own large language models such as Ernie and Quen. China's ability to rapidly scale these models for mass adoption in industries such as e-commerce, healthcare and finance presents a formidable challenge to the United States. As generative AI technologies become more powerful, the competition between the two nations will intensify. Semiconductors are the backbone of AI technologies, and the United States and China are in a fierce battle to secure dominance in this vital sector. The United States holds an advantage, with companies like NVIDIA controlling the global market for AI-optimized chips. NVIDIA's GPUs power many of the most advanced AI models, including those in large language models. In response to China's AI ambitions, the United States has imposed export restrictions on high-performance semiconductors and AI chips, limiting China's access to cutting-edge technology. This has put Chinese AI developers at a significant disadvantage. However, China has made substantial investments in developing its own semiconductor industry, aiming to reduce its dependency on foreign technology and achieve self-sufficiency in this critical area. While the United States leads in generative AI research, China excels in the industrial application of AI. China's government-driven approach has led to rapid adoption of AI in sectors such as manufacturing, surveillance, healthcare and transportation. The country's emphasis on using AI to drive productivity in its vast manufacturing sector, for example, has led to innovations in robotics, automation and smart logistics. Additionally, China is using AI for extensive surveillance and societal management with facial recognition and AI-powered security systems becoming integral to its urban infrastructure. The United States, on the other hand, has focused its AI applications more on consumer-facing technologies such as autonomous vehicles, entertainment and personal assistance. Both countries are also exploring AI's potential in healthcare, with the United States leveraging its strengths in research to develop precision medicine and diagnostic AI, while China is rapidly scaling AI-driven healthcare technologies across its large population. These key areas of competition, large language models and generative AI, 
Semiconductor dominance and industrial and societal applications represent the front lines of the AI arms race. The outcome of this competition will determine not just the technological future of both countries, but also their global, economic and geopolitical standing. The ongoing AI arms race between the United States and China has far-reaching global implications, particularly in terms of geopolitical tensions and economic fragmentation. As both nations vie for technological dominance, countries around the world may find themselves pressured to align with one side or the other, creating new divisions in global trade, technology standards and diplomatic relations. This could lead to a fragmented global economy, with AI technologies becoming a source of competition rather than collaboration. In military applications, AI presents both opportunities and risks. Autonomous weapons powered by AI could change the nature of warfare, making decisions faster and potentially more deadly. This raises concerns about the ethics of AI in combat, as well as the risks of an AI-driven arms race, where nations may develop weapons that could act beyond human control, escalating conflicts and threatening global security. In the race for AI dominance, global cooperation is crucial for ensuring the technology is developed and deployed safely and ethically. The rapid advancement of AI poses significant risks, from unintended consequences to ethical dilemmas in areas like privacy and security. To address these challenges, it is essential that the United States, China and other nations collaborate on AI safety standards and ethical frameworks, fostering transparency and accountability. Both the United States and China, as major players in the AI race, must share responsibility for managing AI's societal impact. While competition drives innovation, unchecked progress could lead to destabilizing outcomes. By working together, nations can mitigate the risks of AI misuse and create a global system that ensures the technology benefits humanity while minimizing harm. Collaboration rather than rivalry is the key to shaping a safer future for all. As AI continues to shape the world, it's time to take responsibility for its direction. Stay informed and engage in discussions about the future of AI. Subscribe to the channel for more insights on how nations are shaping this transformative technology and join the conversation on how we can all contribute to a safer, more ethical AI-powered world. The United States and China are engaged in a high-stakes AI arms race, each with contrasting approaches. The United States relies on a capitalist, venture capital-driven model, fostering innovation through private companies like OpenAI, Microsoft and NVIDIA. Meanwhile, China's state-driven approach combines government-led initiatives, heavy investment and strategic control over AI development, emphasizing both national security and economic dominance. While the competition between the two nations is fierce, it is clear that the future of AI does not have to be a zero-sum game. Rather than focusing on rivalry, the United States and China must embrace collaboration, working together to establish global safety standards and ethical frameworks. Only through cooperation can they ensure AI's benefits are maximized while minimizing potential risks fostering a future where both nations and the world can thrive in a rapidly evolving technological landscape.